Hey everybody, this is Raven. We're back pork sitting. Well, today we're doing apples. We're peeling them and coring them because I'm going to dehydrate me some apples. And I'm going to sprinkle the cinnamon on them because I like mine with cinnamon. Even though I mix this one with a little bit of pumpkin spice seasoning. I know we're a little late on the draw here with the camera, but you know this is the this is the bag. I got my cinnamon in it and everything. He's a working the 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 peeler and the core and I'm doing the cutting and the bagging. And if you like canning and dehydrating to preserve your foods. Let me show them what this apple thing actually does to a spiral and how you turn it into discs. Look at that! Did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> Ain't that cool? That's like a little slinky. <laughs> and how you turn them into discs. These are from the apple tree that you've seen in prior videos. I'm just cutting the bad spots off. I mean, you don't want to dehydrate where a bug is bit. Well, that's as handy as a button on a shirt pocket. I'm hoping I have enough cinnamon. My poor sister Marinelle can't do cinnamon anymore. She's allergic to it. Bless her heart, I ain't never heard anybody allergic to cinnamon, but I guess she can be. But Adrian here can't even eat them. He can't eat the apples or any fresh fruit. He's allergic to fresh fruit. I can eat if it's cooked. <laughs> Not fresh. Yeah, today's going to be a busy day because after this is done and starting dehydrating, we're going to pick our green beans off the vine. We got some canning to do. Tell that was the last pick of apples off the tree. Right. Some of them are a little uglier than others. <laughs> Yeah, that's not the prettiest apples I've ever saw. It'll taste just as good. It will. Well, while we're doing this, I'll show you what we did to the last batch of apples we got. I was starting to say, they're going to get bored. I know, right? <laughs> Where did you do the apples, babe? They're down in the dairy. Oh, well then I can't show nobody. If you had to. Oh, yes I can. Hang have on. To, I can to, do that. Have to show them later. No, I can show them now. I got a jar. Oh, you got, did you sneak out a I jar? I snuck a jar. <laughs> We done the canning and preserving of the last apples that are the first set of apples we picked. And we cooked them down and we canned them. We water bath canned these. Yes, we did. Because they're low acidic, believe it or not. High acidic. Oh, these high. No, the low acidic's got to. Yeah, the low acidic's got to be pressure, pressure canned. canned. Yeah. 
So. Yeah, we actually added an acid to them. Uh, Along with the acid that they got in them. Yeah. Well, anyway, we did. We water bath canned these. But these you can put over anything. Even make a seven layer cake and put all this in the middle of it. It's going to be yummy. Last apple of the year. Right? You're going to run it through. No, go ahead. Gotta go slow motion. Gotta go, gotta go slow. That's the last apple. And she don't have a camera that has slow motion, so we'll just do it slow. You're going to talk like this. <laughs> oh, I sound like that anyway. Oh, no, you don't. Gosh. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. There we go. And then I, after I do this, I'm going to shake this bag up. And put them in the dehydrator. And then when they're all dehydrated, I'll show you what they look like. Well, you both the of them. I'm going to go around this way. Of course, most of you already know what they look like dehydrated. You ever gone to the store and got a bag of dried apple chips? Well, that's what they look like. Let me clean this up right here. Well, you know, while he's washing and cleaning up the board, I'm going to shake the bag up. <laughs> I'm going to coat these really, really, really good, or at least try to coat them all. Hoping I have enough cinnamon in here. I may have to add another jar to this. That's a lot. And it's best to have air in the bag while you're shaking this up. That way it separates the apples. And you want them, try to get them as evenly coated as you possibly can. And I didn't put no sugar in this because apples make their own sugar anyway. They have their own natural sugar, so I don't need no sugar for this. When you're on a low carb, low calorie diet, you don't add extra sugars to add to your diabetes, you know? I mean, if that's your problem. If it's your bent and you don't have diabetes problems, add sugar. But nah, they got their own natural sugar. Well, before I get these on the trays, I'll be right back and we'll show you that. Well, now that I've got them all shaken up and I think I've got them coated good enough, I'm gonna start placing them on my tray. They look all evenly coated. You want them all evenly spaced, that way they dry out really good. I mean, you don't want to scrunch them too close together, but you want them close together, it's good to have room on your trays, because I've, you know, I think I've only got one, two, three, four trays here. So, I could order more trays. You can order more trays for your dehydrator, depending on what dehydrators you got. But I, I have the Presto dehydrator. So I can go on their website or on Amazon or eBay and order some more trays. FYI, they're cheaper on eBay. Cheaper on eBay than ordering them from the website. Directly from Presto. But you know, if you're trying to pinch pennies, you do what you gotta do. Let me get these stacked, and I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. This is Raven Star again. Well, we got our apples done. We got them all put in the dehydrator. And they have been sitting here. Today is Monday. We put them in Saturday. And I've already checked them, and they taste really, really good. Now, if you have extra because you don't have, like, enough racks 
for your like more racks for your dehydrator like if you only got the four that come with yours or if you got a bigger dehydrator or whatever um, you can put the leftovers in a Ziploc bag and put them in your refrigerator and they'll keep until your other apples get dehydrated enough and then what you do is you just add them add, add those into your dehydrator and then dehydrate them for you know another two and a half days because you've got to make sure that they've got all of the liquid dehydrated out of them and I store mine you can store them however you want I store mine in Ziploc bags because I am on a low carb diet because of being pre-diabetic so these are great for in between snacks just you you have to portion yourself I have to portion myself rather but I, I do these other people I mean so you can you can put them in mylar bags and you know seal them up that way to store them because they keep once you've dehydrated them you've dehydrated them so um, they keep for a long long time I think for like at least a couple years but me, yeah, no, I use a Ziploc bag, and of course, this is a freezer bag. As long as it's sealed and no moisture can come into it, but mine ain't gonna last that long. <laughs> so mine will last a, a few weeks. <laughs> but yeah, you can you can seal them and store them any way you can. So I'm gonna get them out of the dehydrator and seal them up. I'm gonna unplug that. And always be sure that you, oh yeah, always be sure that when you're done with your racks, always clean them. I mean, that's just common sense, but I'm going to take all these out of here. I've got no easy way to do this. I just pick them off here with my fingers. I've washed my hands, so I'll just use my fingers. I mean, I have a fairly large dog, and I don't want that on my stuff that I'm fixing to put in my mouth after petting him and everything, and it's like, yep, nasty. <laughs> See, the, I mean, they just, oh, they've come so good. They've dehydrated so good. I love my dehydrator. And then when I, when I get through here and put them in my bag and seal them up for eating later and in between meals, I'm just going to take my racks in there. I mean, you could throw your racks if you got a dishwasher. You could throw your racks in a dishwasher. And, and that's what I'll probably do is throw them in a dishwasher. And the bottom of my dehydrator has, you know, I'll, I'll take a, um, a soapy rag, soapy wash rag, and I'll clean the bottom of it out really good. That way, you know, there's no remnants of this next time because more than likely, I mean, I, I dehydrate other stuff too. Other fruits, I like to dehydrate. Strawberries are really good. Oh, I love dehydrated strawberries. Peaches, pears. If you got pears, fresh pears, you cut them up, pit them, you know. Peaches, same thing. And now I like to skin my peaches when I dehydrate them because the skins get tough. But the apples are sort of like them peeled and cored before you dehydrate. <laughs> so see, all this cinnamon is left at the bottom of your dehydrator. So you'll want to get all this out of there because it'll, it'll sort of smell up the rest of your foods as you're dehydrating. I like to make sure I squeeze the air out of this bag and then zip lock it shut. 
I'll lay this over here. And that. See, because you've got all this. All that cinnamon. you got to get out of there. So I'll go dump that out. And I'll put my apples up for eating. But in the meantime, that'll be all for, the, for this one. And i got to do something else. I'll have you tag along for the ride. So, this is the end for the video. So, love you mamas and papas. Call them and tell them you love them each and every day. Love you kids. Love you mamas and daddies. Tell them you love them each and every day. And we'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.